Hello, everybody. The Indiana State Sycamores were in action on a Saturday night hosting conference rival Loyola Chicago. And prior to the game, they honored the newest members of the Hall of Fame class. There's Sean Manaya, who's a good pitcher for the Oakland A's. Sean had a no hitter for Oakland in 2018. Also back was former softball player Darcy Woods. Good to see everyone back for the Hall of Fame tonight. As for the game, they started well. Cam Henry with a nice move. He led the way with 12 points. And Cooper Nice added five points. This was part of a 7 0 start. More from Cam. He goes to the fadeaway here. And the Sycamores led 15 to 6. Want to see a great layup? How about this effort from Julian Larry? Outstanding. He was the second leading scorer with eight and six rebounds. Later, Larry cuts to the basket, and Xavier Bledson finds him. It was 26 to 11 at that point. But the Ramblers tightened up Marquise Kennedy, the steal, and he goes for the slam. He was okay there and had 15 points. Now, second half, Calix Stevens from the corner. He had seven points tonight. Then some athletic moves by Bledson in the paint. He had six. ISU trailed 57-56, but Loyola made plays down the stretch. Kennedy, another jam, and they extended the lead. And this play kind of put the game away. Braden Norris off the screen, and Loyola outscores them 34-23 in the second half. Here's Coach Schertz and the guys after the loss. Just uh, you know, frustrating that we weren't able to to, to finish. Thought we played, um, came out of the gates really good. Thought we played with great energy. Um, thought we uh, offensively were really moving, playing with force and with pace. And, and uh, you know, we always talk about. And I thought we were really getting uh, great looks despite turning the ball over some. And proud of the way we fought. I thought we played hard. I thought we competed. Um, but against a team that good, playing hard and competing is is not enough. They made the winning plays down the stretch, and we pretty much just didn't. Uh, a few of those. The ball didn't bounce our way, but at the same time, there was still other plays that we could have made just to help us get over that hump. Honestly, I feel like it was just a lot of execution things, like not hitting the teams when we when we when we should have, and not making the right decisions and and hitting hitting some shots. But other than that, I feel like we played pretty good. Next for the Sycamores, a trip to Carbondale to take on Southern Illinois on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time.